the executive director and the Society for Democratic Initiatives, SDI Emmanuel Safa Abdullah say one thing with the unbog transparency and accountability na the local council them na the country na because they not get better record system for keep them record them for make people get access to them. Emmanuel Safa Abdullah talk this inside one meeting with the Society for Democratic Initiatives all inside Freetown with district council representative, councillor and other stakeholders them from government departments and agencies them for raise awareness for the Local Government Act of 2004 and the Right to Access Information Act of 2013 with the theme a transparent and accountable government will ensure service delivery of basic amenities. Emmanuel Safa Abdullah talk more bodies to Musa S. Kamara. We the whole workshop for local government officials and information officers, uh, ministries, departments and agencies. Basically the workshop now for train them on the right to access information law when it within the conflict information law. And also the local government actually talk about transparency and accountability. Well who are the set of people and we they benefit from this training and which in the team will not teach them? Well, basically, like I say, we they get local government officials, we they get information officers from different MDAs, and some civil society organizations. And basically, what we try to do now for take transparency and accountability to the local councils, because the local government act provides extensively for government, and for local councils, for make available the information, we also make available the the minutes, the the records to citizens, and ensure that people are able for access the information they need. Now, the same provisions that then at the right to access information law. So we want to combine both and explain the law into details to then local government officials, but also for citizens who understand say as citizens and their right for access information with public officials that hold. Or how you think say this importance to national development? Well, generally, yeah, when you talk about access to information, it means transparency and accountability. The public officials will be accountable to the people, then for ensure say the information where they hold, they hold them on behalf of the people. Example, how they spend public resources, how they public resources that they, they, they decide and they go and decide and they go. So generally, once you get um, a culture of transparency and accountability, you also be able to get development. You be able to reduce poverty because public services then will be delivered. Transparency and accountability are the main words them inside the team as the basis for national development. What in the assessment of these now government sectors, especially in the local council where they talk about? Well, the thing is, over the years, a lot of government departments and on they work now in secret. Now get no law where they give them the powers or where they obligate them for release information. Now this is the Local Government Act 2004 and the Right to Access Information Act of 2013. They talk about put obligation on government departments and make available information where they hold budget, expenditure, receipts, vouchers, anything where in a document the way they prepare. Once you know get anything where gets national security concerns, then they for making available when since they want for access them. For example, the local government actually all minutes of local councils and public meetings. He also say that the minutes for their on notice board, you know, 21 days after the meeting, after the meeting, so the citizens can go access them. He also say all them budgets, the action plan, the development plans, citizens can go access them. They basically, they say public officials that they work or local government officials they work for the people of Sierra So you think it is done the B transparency done the D in other sectors that are over the years or within the assessment in general? Well, I I don't know that for sure. I make we try to build the culture by training. You know, the more we train people, the more people understand. The more citizens people understand, the more the law is respected because it's not law. If you if you get a democratic government, you get for guided by the rule of law, and the rule of law means say people respect the laws. What we na aim for achieve at the end of the day, say na I will be one rich. Yes, we don't reach there. What we want to achieve now for train these people, let them understand the law. Most people who they work in the government departments, eh, no, not know about this law. They don't know about the provisions. And citizens and so don't know the rights and where they get for access information. So rather than we sit down and we let the corners, they make assumptions about waiting to go on, waiting for the go on. At the right time, this, this is not the right opportunity in the country, let's say, then we get strong laws on transparency and accountability for we'll all push the process for. What do you around the challenge them with the unbog transparency and accountability in the country? Well, in terms of um, transparency in local government, you need to follow this process complete. You now need the Records Management Act. The Records Management Act will clearly build a system and a structure whereby citizens and public officials then go set local and then go set up the information system. So if you go for go get information, you will easily get up. Once you not get proper records management, right to access information law becomes a major issue. So that's not a major challenge. And we need for change the attitude and culture of the systems.
rape and violence against women and girl picking them don't plenty in a salon and most of them bad see ya waking up to women and girl picking them then can find them difficult for carry on with their life and most of them victim ya can they below the age of 18 for help tap and plenty challenge waking up to women and girl picking them make the asthma james foundation way over the year don't they provide sexually productive health education to adolescents girls them na the country self don't put on by this fate where this make the asthma james foundation be declared tuesday december 4 as black tuesday what in this day mean the founder for the asthma james foundation asthma james gets this for sale today's dialogue events and the call for wearing black is another effort by the asthma james foundation to bring the issue of sexual violence against women and girls to the fore of our national dialogue we will continue to collaborate with other actors and use our media platform for sustained engagements on this emerging community menace i have engaged Nobahia of purposeful production. I will not emphasize the need for more stringent measures to be put in place for perpetrators of such crimes. The laws must be enforced to its fullest and should also target families and relations who try to protect and compromise with perpetrators. The president of lawyers, Fatma Tassouri, say they don't find out say the problem waking up on where they can provide legal service to them victim here yeah. now because they not can understand the process. What we also realize during the cause of providing a pro bono legal service to the women and children is most people don't understand the procedure and the processes. So many a time, by the time they come to us or to the police, the evidence might have been one off. So in cases of rape, we want to encourage people to run off and make a report and get a medical examination done. Because if the evidence is watered down, prosecution of the matter in court is going to be a little bit tough. We want the system and the laws to be worked, but you have to know your right as well. We want to make sure the penalties are severe. We want to make sure there is a host of committals and convictions and that the convictions, the sentencing are is such um, punitive in nature that they serve as a deterrent. But we don't believe this is a situation where people have forced the police to do their job. We think it has to be a voluntary call to action wherein this is your mandate, you work within your mandate and you get things done. The people within our community have to have the confidence. The founder and executive director for Purposeful Production, Chernoba, say people will know they treat women they find in a saloon. In Sierra Leone, we continue to have a society that treats the female body as less of a human being, as an object for the glorification of men. Somehow, we are all unfortunately complicit. We laugh at sexual jokes that make women look as if they are less. Any man can just violently enter a woman's body and take advantage of it. And until and unless as a society, we all begin to say, no, it is not funny. No, we don't accept it. We're going to continue to have these things. We're going to continue to have these moment. And express individual outrage at the five months old, but I beg to you, it's that from this culture that has set somehow when a woman is raped, the question we all continue to ask as a society is what's he be What's he go do there? The executive director for remote initiative, Daniel Keto, say rape day in the increase and say the rape case them where they get now 2,579 case them. For this year, I tell you in only three centers, that is Freetown and Connor and Kenema. For only three centers, we receive 2,579 cases from January to November. Women or guests reported to our center that they were raped. And then among those, you know, there were hundreds of them who were pregnant as a result of rape. And then um, sometimes the youngest case that we have received so far seven months old baby who you know the mother came with the center and I'm like was telling the center managers and the counselors like uh, this lady was tempered with and was abused as a man I, I decided like ah oh, what's going on in this country and then I become more passionate and I become more interested in terms of what we do and what we provide the services that we provide. The, the oldest woman that was reported in our center for this year is 85 year old woman as my James continues to say, people for use these 16 days of activism for talk about violence, waking up against women and girl picking them. 
As we mark the 16 days of activism, which is a global campaign to end violence against women and girls, I call on all of us to raise our voices, particularly on high incidence of rape and other forms of violence against young girls in Sierra Leone. This is an emerging community problem confronting us and the trend of current incidences must not be underestimated. It requires all of us to collectively work and immediately halt the current trends of events. I am constantly perturbed by news items of rape and sexual violence of young girls reaching our studios on a daily basis. And as a mother and activist, I have the moral conscience to act and take bold initiative for our girls. I want to recognize the role played by Rainbow Center, Abadin Women's Center, because Abadin Women's Center and the Rainbow Initiative handle these critical sexual violence cases. I also want to recognize the efforts of lawyers. Um, I want to particularly thank the President, Mrs. Soli, for taking up matters in court and pursuing justice for our girls. The Director of Gender. Now the Saloon Police, AIG Mustafa Kamara, end up calling government for Bill Forensic Lab. We go help them for speed up with rape case them na the country. For the Society for Radio Democracy, you know, Kabia the reports.